Here's my KO4 manual transmission A4. And uh, there's its sister, automatic. It's a, not KO4, it's a stage two KO3. This one's got 5% tent. It's been sitting for about a year. A uh, little, little bit of trash needs cleaned up. Don't, don't mind that, don't mind that. Oh. This, yeah, it's cleaner than your all's cars. Okay, uh-oh. What happened here? We're missing the panel. Let's see if it's, oh, it's sitting right here. I cannot even remember why I took it off. But that's a good, good little opportunity for me to show you how it clips back in. See, we got our like can bus right here. We got some fuses that you'll never have to mess with over here. I don't know why I took it off. The other side has fuses too. All right, the purpose for this video was I was gonna drop a, a new battery in this car. I need to put a battery in this car and I need to put some brakes on the front of it. The brakes on the front of it only lasted about 10,000 miles because I was doing towing. All right, let's take a look at the battery I got. I got a Interstate Big Boy. What is that? Ninety five R H nine it's an H nine battery, alright? It's a big one. You can fit big ones in here. Am I gonna code it? I've got the ability to code it, but I'm not going to. Is it gonna matter? Not in my opinion. So the battery sits in the middle here. Let me straighten out the camera. Because you guys all like good camera views, even though I don't give it to you yet. I'm not the type of person that's gonna give you good camera views yet. If that means that you don't subscribe to my channel, then screw you too, buddy. So, look at this big old thing right here. You see, okay, I, I did put some silicone on the top because it's supposed to have this little cover that goes over there, and it's whatever, it's not there. The two little nubs right here. It, if, if you can keep the covers, you know, it's supposed to even have a big cover like this, but you know, someone got rid of it. If you can keep the covers, keep the covers. All right, don't throw stuff away. Don't don't be like that. So, this right here. You want to know where the negative is? The negative goes to the chassis ground. The whole chassis is grounded. We got the negative wire right here. We got the positive wire right here. On the positive, this little fancy thing has fuses. This is your little battery interrupter deal. Okay? So if you get into a wreck, your car might not start. Because that... This right here is where you got your fuses. Okay. Now, what you do is you pop the battery into place like so. And then we have, where's all this stuff? Where is it all? What did I do with it? You know, you know what I ask myself whenever I try to find something? I say, if I was Naptown Tuner, where would I put such and such? And then that really helps me figure out where I put such and such. Isn't that a weird, funny little thing to do? If I was me, where would I put it? And then I usually figure it out. So you know what I just did wrong right there? I put it in backwards, so don't put it in backwards. You know why I'm not paying attention so much? because I'm trying to pay attention to you all. I'm trying to make a little video here. I'm trying to talk. I'm trying not to give misinformation. Is that an excuse? It just might be. You know what you need to do about excuses? You need to stop with the excuses. And you need to own up to it. If you made a mistake, don't, don't go trying to blame someone else. Don't push it off. You know what? Man up. Man up and say, you know what? Yeah, I did put the battery in backwards. Because sometimes I'm an idiot. We're all idiots sometimes. You know what else? Nobody knows everything. Here on this plane of Earth, we are all ignorant to varying degrees. So, when it, that's a 13 millimeter and the carrier that goes over a 13 millimeter. I'm not going to forget to tighten that down. But what I am going to do 
So I'm gonna go ahead and put the terminals on. What terminal do you put on first? Does it really matter that much? No, it's not really gonna matter that much, but if you wanna do things right, you put negative on first and then positive. You see this? This is your little breather hose. It goes, where does it go? You feel the little, let's see, you see that? Little hole right here in the side of the battery. See that hole? That's where your breather hose goes. So you pop that back in because we like to put stuff back together when we can. You know what else we're gonna do? We're gonna put the light back on it because the sun's going down. You wanna see the sun? There, there's the sun. It's not gonna be up much longer. You know what time it is? It's like 5.30, yeah. You know what else? It's already past the summer sol- Oops. I accidentally hit the record button and stopped recording. But let's talk about, I, mean, I gotta fill time. So we uh, we got Solstice and Equinox. You have to remind me what it is. It's the, the, the summer Solstice and the winter Equinox. We just passed the winter, winter Equinox. So we got the shortest day of the year, which is, wait, the shortest day of the year, when is that? We didn't pass it. It's December 21st, I believe. And then the summer solstice is... See, I can't remember stuff. I should I used to... I can't remember. But yeah, the shortest day of the year is December 21st. And we're coming up on that because it's like a little over a month away right now if I'm correct about that. If I'm not, then I feel like an idiot because I'm trying to act smart while I put a battery in. And instead of being really boring, see, look, I'm tightening something with a pair of pliers. How, how much of an idiot am I? You should be using a proper 10 millimeter wrench, a closed end flank drive plus. Okay, what's this? What's this we got? A toilet paper roll, buddy. Uh, or actually, it might be a toilet paper roll. Okay, so let's see if we can tighten down this little silicone jobby here. Because I silicone to the top, because guess what? I silicone to the top because, man, this is getting crazy. I mean, this is just, Naptown tuner rigging right here. I pause this battery installation for a exhaust intermission. You know what I got? I got one resonator and that's it. Well, actually I got two resonators on this car. Two resonators on this car and it sounds like this. Someone told me if I... Yeah, someone told me if I tap this bottom button twice, that beep goes away. Props to that person. Not even all that loud. It only it stops revving at three grand. Someone tell me. Someone tell me what kind of tune that is that does that, because I don't even know. Because typically it stops driving at four grand. All right. Man, if you all watch this much, you guys are troopers. I mean, you guys will watch anything. I might as well pour a bowl of cereal next and you probably watch that. And then I talk like this and I talk like this and y'all stop watching me. Please don't stop watching me. What you need to do is subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. I mean, you, if you subscribe, you can watch a guy that tightens battery terminals with a pair of Nipex pliers. And you know what one of my next videos is gonna be? It's gonna be about my favorite pair of pliers. Do you think I own a 10 millimeter wrench? Yes, I own a 10 millimeter wrench there, pal. But what I, what I prefer to do is as much work as possible with a pair of small Nipex pliers. After you tighten your terminal, 
give it a nice little tuggy tug. Okay. You know what? I probably should have give, grabbed the proper tool because I have to grab a 13 millimeter anyway. Wow. Keep in mind, putting this battery in with one hand. See these little nubs right here? I don't even know why I took this off. I've never taken one of these off before. But we're about to put it on with one hand. Come on now. Yes. Did not break it. All right. You know what else I'm about to do? I'm about to open this purple door right here. Time this thing right here, man. How cringeworthy is this? Watching a dude. Seriously, are you still watching? You're watching a dude tighten the battery down with nothing but a pair of Nipex pliers. Now, there's no way I'm going to take this pair of Nipex pliers back here and tighten that down. All right, what do we got here? We got. Man, where'd it go? Where did it stink and go? Cut. Yep, that was inside the car. I didn't have it in the trunk. What did I mean by that? What I meant by that was... Man, let's put this light somewhere. I can't believe you guys are still watching. I mean, come on. This little thing right here. What do we... Oh, man. You know what else I'm missing? I'm missing the stinking... Screw cap that goes on the top of it. All right. So before I go tightening my stuff down, man, where are all these bolts? You know what you should do? You should get little Ziploc baggies and you should put all your hardware in it, step by step, with notes and illustrations. And you should put it all out on a poster board and make yourself instructions. Either that or, there we go. Either that or fumble around with stuff like me and try to figure out where you put stuff. But you know what? I lost one bolt, where is it? I got one bolt somewhere. Is the, under the battery? Oh man, I don't really wanna skimp on this. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I guess I'll get one more bolt. I'm gonna look for it real quick, one last time. No, no. It's probably underneath this, probably underneath this subframe thing somewhere. Probably gonna rattle around now. And I'll get a noise complaint from the customer. The customer will say, oh, look what I just found. I just found it. It was inside this hole. All right. No more noise complete from the customer. Now what I got? Now I got this 13 millimeter. I'm gonna stick it on here. I can't believe you're still watching something this crazy. I mean, at least I filmed it, right? I, I didn't have to film this, you know. I'd probably be done now if I didn't. If I didn't film it, I'd probably be done by now. So that if you get a flat tire, you can just, you know, use your jack and your, this is where the, the loop, oh, look, water, fresh water. Because I let it get rained on. What kind of owner am I? Right. You want to make sure that you got your crank and your jack. There's usually a screwdriver in here with a couple bits. The bits are in there. Look, this is even to pull this little loop right here. That's what you're supposed to pull your little center caps out with. This area right here, I don't believe A4s came with it, but you can put a, a uh, Audi air compressor in there that like Q5s come with. All right. Now what? No, you don't put the spare tire in next. You put this little cover on because we like to cover stuff. And then we got illustrations. It says, it says, 
No, don't jump start it. Don't jump start it back here. Go, go up there to the hood, okay? Don't do it back here, you dummy. All right. What? I got an extra bolt right there. That's weird. That's where my extra bolt was. So someone else left one in there. I always like to blame stuff on someone else. No, don't do it. Don't blame stuff on other people. It's your fault. You know what else you want to do? You want to toss your spare tire in there, but you want to check your, your spare tire pressure every once in a while, okay? Because you don't want a flat spare tire when you need it. Now I got a little insert that goes in there and it's probably in my garage. I'm not worried about it right now. That is all folks, knockdown dinner.